Welcome back. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the R case stumbling bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And apparently I'm stumbling over my words today. But welcome back to another weekly wrap up. I believe this is the second week of June. Jumping in with the reading wrap up. I finished two things this week. I first finished Fence Volume 5, and this is a contemporary queer story about fencing, and I love it. I think that it is super sweet. Also learning more about fencing than I ever had, which is kind of fun, because as a teenager I thought it would be fun to learn how to fence, and now as I'm watching all this I'm like, oh no, this is not something I would have enjoyed, but it is fun learning about it now. But I also really just love the dynamic of the characters in this book. You have friendships that are deep and beautiful, and you have moments where the boys celebrate each other and love each other for who they are, and you have relationships that are expanding further, further into friendship. And maybe there are some characters that, that have the potential of some romance. But I like that this series definitely can't be over because we're still progressing little by little as Nicholas is gaining skill as a fencer. He has the natural skill already, but now he's learning the technical knowledge. And obviously it's all coming down to a head where he will face off against his half-brother, and then his father will recognize him. I mean, that's what the first volume kind of shows. That's his goal. I just enjoy it so much. I can't say, I guess, too much more beyond that because it's book number five. And then I also finished Percival Ghent and the Conspiracy of Days by Drew Melbourne. This is one of our self-published science fiction finalists, and I will have a further review coming out here soon. But this is a wonderful sci-fi adventure space opera romp with magic and the sense of humor in it is what I would call absurdist kind of in the vein of Terry Pratchett and Douglas Adams and this follows Percival Ghent who gets solicited to go on to an adventure to find and destroy the engine of the apocalypse for me it was a great adventure it was a little slow for me to get into it, but once I was in, I was having so much fun with it. I like that it does nods and like pokes fun at stereotypes that are typical for fantasy and sci-fi. And it does it in a way that does not retract from the story that it is telling. And I like that the sense of humor balances with the sci-fi plot. A lot of fun. Like I said, review coming soon, later. <laughs> and then... I have picked up The Jade Setter of Jan Loon by Fonda Lee. This is like a prequel novella for this world, which is good because I've only read Jade City and planning to finish it this week. I have met Pulo, who is the apprentice to the Jade Setter, Isen, and there's been a robbery at their store. So that's really all I've gotten so far. And then the other book I am planning to work on this week is The Art of Space Travel and Other Stories by Nina Allen. This is a collection of stories. This is for my buzzword prompt for June. The prompt is to read a book with other in the title and Lala did say and other stories do count so that's why I have this one. And since it's a short story collection I typically read like a short story a day so I don't like read this really super fast just read a short story a day and then read my other stuff as well. Um, and then now that I've finished Percival Gint, my next finalist that I'm going to be picking up is Those Left Behind. I think the author's name is N.C. Screamcore. You should see it here on the thumbnail. writing wrap-up. I had started to write an application for a volunteer position and then decided not to. So that's all the writing that I've been doing. 
though I do have the desire to write and am daydreaming every day. I would like to participate in July's NaNoWriMo, but we'll see. I'm, I, I hold no promises here. And then for other media, still working on elementary. I also have watched Death. Yeah, I have also watched Death Beyond. Nope. I've also watched Beyond Paradise, which is a spinoff of Death in Paradise, which I really enjoy. This follows Humphrey and Martha. Humphrey was the second detective from Paradise or Death in Paradise. <laughs> I'm totally flipping everything now. Uh, and then he left that show because he went after the a woman that he was interested in, took a took a chance, took an opportunity, and their relationship has furthered. And they have now moved back to her small hometown, and he has been transferred to that small police borough. This one has a little more like drama filled, I would say, like in the relationship. Not a huge fan, but again, you can't quite have the same lightness as you get with Death in Paradise. Different dynamics. I don't know how to explain it, but I love the nod to the duck and what they name the duck. Really enjoying that. Watch some more Master Chef, and then Becca from Becca Reads recommended me Crime Scene Kitchen, where bakers go into this cube and deduce from clues what was made and I've watched the first episode and that is a lot of fun so thank you Becca for that recommendation I've been I guess looking for a baking show now that I haven't had Netflix that is what I have been watching I've been watching a lot more TV than I normally do I think but that's one of the ways I use to turn off my brain I am an escapist TV watcher not an escapist reader of interesting dynamic there, right? How is your June going? Are you having sweltering heats? Are you having any issues from fires, tornadoes? I'd love to know. Thank you and have a great day.